All right, howdy, howdy. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower Fantasy. My name is Vince SG. What's good with you? All right, guys, listen. A3 Fiona is like some of the most fun that I've ever had playing Tower Fantasy. Let me tell you this. The other day, I was on stream, right? And I'm using my Ice DPS build, trying to get gameplay for a video I was making. I'm cooking the balls. Zuyan, I was destroying him, just smacking him around, right? And then he gets to his last health bar, and then all of a sudden, it's just gone. I mean, as soon as it gets to that last health bar, the boss dies. And I'm just like, what just happened? So I look over at chat and chat's like, oh yeah, that's A3 Fiona. She she executes and I'm just like, come again? A3 Fiona, she execute bosses. She has a special ability. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. So I pull up her character sheet and I read it. And I'm looking at this like, what? Okay. So after I read that, I devoted every resource into getting A3 Fiona, and let me tell you, <laughs> that is what they call a game changer. Let's get it. All right, so really quickly, before I tell you about A3 Fiona, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody on America One who has joined S tier. We have 84 members now in S tier, which is amazing. My last Chrome PC did not have anywhere near those numbers. So thank you for joining. If you want to join, we're on America One. All you got to do is request. It's on auto join. We'd love to have you. You see me streaming, pull up to a stream, join the team. Whenever I'm fighting bosses, just come hang out with us. We'd love to have you over in S tier. Tier. And also, um, if you have not already subbed to this channel, like if you're brand new, like this is your first video you've seen of me, please hit that sub button, turn notifications on, and check out some of the videos that I've made. I've made a bunch of tutorial guides to help people out, new players who've never played before, and just give them my unique perspective on like everything. So I'll definitely do that. I'd really appreciate that. All right, so first things first, when you get Fiona A3, you get her black skin, the black costume. The black costume actually looks a lot doper than the other one, if you ask me in my opinion. And also, once you get Fiona, it's my suggestion that you go ahead and awaken her. Give her a bunch of gifts so you awaken her last talent. Um, and that's basically this moon reflection. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to read all that. Just know that if you read that for yourself, it says a lot of things that are really good about Fiona. It helps Fiona to be a better Fiona. So definitely awaken her. So I'm going to give you the long and short of it, and then I'll break it down in the scientific terms, and I'm going to show you some gameplay. So basically, at A1, Fiona gets these little ice crystals that float around her, and the more skills you do, uh, discharge skills and normal skills, I think, um, you get an ice crystal, but they leave pretty quick. So you got to be quick on using those discharge skills. You got to be quick on using those skills so you don't lose those crystals, and those crystals do extra damage or whatnot. But the reason why you have these crystals for real when you get A3 is the more crystals you have, that determines like how soon you can actually execute whatever you're facing, a boss, a regular elite enemy or whatever, it just determines how fast you can delete them or how soon you can delete them. Now there's a lot more technical stuff to get into it, but I'm just gonna get into that really quickly. But I wanted to let you know that's the big and short of if you're like, what's so good about her? How do you do it? All right, now, so I'm gonna go ahead and read um, what it says so I can cover my bases so the people in the comments don't be like, bro, you know what you're talking about. So, all right, so um, A1, of Fiona, it's when you get a copy of Fiona for the first time, and then you get another copy of Fiona. That is going to be your A1, all right? So um, the first thing to activate, it says, using any weapon or discharge skill grants one elemental crystal up to five crystals. Elemental crystals are lost at a rate of one crystal every six seconds. Elemental crystals provide a final damage boost equal to 4% of crystal count plus one slash two and increased healing effect equal to six percent of crystal count plus one slash two all right so that's what you get that's what you get that's what you get when you get a one all right but it's cool but that only really like helps you when you get to a3 and i'll read you a3 right now a3 says this while benediction resonance is not active and if you don't know what benediction resonance is you can see right there in the middle of my screen next to my webcam uh over there it says benediction so i press l2 benediction says Equip at least two support type weapons to activate increased healing by 100%, which in team play is further increased by 100%. So you can do this with Benediction or without Benediction. Doesn't matter. However, if you do it without Benediction, it's going to be not impossible, but it's going to be a lot harder to do. So I'll just continue reading. While Benediction Resonance is not active, when the target's HP is below crystal count plus 2%, using Moonstar Bracelets can instantly execute the target, doesn't work against Wanderers. And then it says, while Benediction Resonance is active, when the target's HP is below crystal count times 2 plus 2%, 2 using Moonstar Bracelets can instantly execute the target, doesn't work against Wanderers. Okay, so basically what that means is when the boss gets down to that last bar of health you switch to fiona 
and they're gonna get executed depending on how many crystals you have up so ideally what you're gonna want to do and this is what I've been doing is sort of like a blanket covered by butt so I actually get the the execute I just keep spamming skills keep spamming discharge keep spamming skills to keep as many crystals on the character as possible and what that kind of forced me to do was make a build in which I could continuously get discharge up every weapon I switch to with the loss of maybe one or two seconds if that I have a new discharge skill you've been watching the gameplay in the very beginning you saw how my discharge was coming up let's check it out right now So you see how fast my discharge skills just keep coming up, keep coming up. And that's because of the certain things that I have on, the specific weapons that I have and the weapon chips that I have on those weapons to keep that discharge coming. So when the time comes, all I gotta do is switch to Fiona and boom, boss is dead. This works on bosses, elite enemies, even the little regular enemies out there, but sometimes it may be a little bit difficult to do it with the regular enemies because with one alt, they will probably die. All right, so let's just check out first. I'll show you what I have on my Fiona. All right, so Fiona is one of the most unique characters in the game because she behaves differently from a lot of characters. She's like the first of her kind, and that's why a lot of people think that she is meta right now. That's the popular opinion. Now, if you look over at her and you press uh, left on the D-pad at her character skills, you see if you go all the way to the right to that little cogwheel thing, she has something that a lot of characters just don't have. I don't think any characters have this. She has two skills that she can equip. Now, if you activate one skill, which this skill I have equipped is Torrential Force, and I'll tell you why I have Torrential Force equipped in just a second, um, you can equip this skill, so when you use your or her skill it's gonna look the same for the most part but if you add something else with it it's just gonna make it look a little different and do something else like they have different benefits from having these things equipped and now the second active skill is a skill that you can use while Fiona is not your equipped weapon so if you have Moonstar bracelets for example with Yulon the unity weapon if you have Yulon unity on the field at the time and aqua shackles is off cooldown you can hit it now a lot of people use aqua shackles because this is an ability that locks your target your enemy your I mean, you know, lead enemy boss enemy whatever the case may be it locks them in place and they can't move interrupts their skills and whatnot and people can just attack or maybe get away if they're doing some sort of ultimate or something like that so aqua shackles if you have fiona that's definitely going to be in the number two slot it can't be in a number one slot or else it won't be the uh, skill that you use off when she's off screen it has to be in the number two slot so torrential force let's read what torrential force does it's called bath in torrents gain 60 weapon charge every second I mean do I really even need to read any more after that that is insane gain 60 weapon charge every second this is huge for using that a3 execute increase skill damage by 12% for 35 seconds using torrential force counts as using the current weapons discharge skill without the effect Shimmering Radiance hits, that's her ultimate attack, her discharge skill. Shimmering Radiance hits, reset Torrential Force's cooldown. And a cooldown on this is 30 seconds. So that is actually really, really big, really huge for using this A3 execute. So looking at the weapon chips that I have on Fiona, it's nothing crazy. It's a budget build and it works. I am using the NA chipset. I think that's how you pronounce her name, E-N-E. -E. It says, when dealing damage greater than 100% of attack, deal additional damage equal to 60% of attack cool down three seconds it just seems to me that this was the most logical choice of sr chips to put on her if you know better down in the comments let us know what other chips that you would run let other people know what other chips you would run to make fiona work i just thought bro i'm always dealing more than 100 percent of attack so this is going to make her deal 60 percent more damage that's insane the second weapon that I chose to use for this is going to be Unity, that's Yulon. And this came as a suggestion from my chat during the live streams. And I gotta tell you, the chat did not steer me wrong because Yulon is on one of the weapon banners right now, depending on when you're watching this video. This is like right when the release of PS5 Tower Fantasy. So Yulon is one of the banner characters and Yulon is absolutely amazing for this. So Yulon is similar to Fiona in that she can change skills. So if you go to Yulon and you go to the cog here, not every character is gonna have this cog. I think these are the only two that have that sort of cog and I think they did that on purpose so if you use you can have two forms martial artist form or sweeping force form sweeping force is what you need to have selected so you can spam skills sweeping force uh, it says sweeping attacks deliberate in council prompt and action enhances unity's uh, support abilities 
Change his skill to Clashing of Arms and Discharge to Observe and React and obtain a powerful Anticipate State. So first, let's take a look at Clashing of Arms. Okay, so this is Clashing of Arms. It says, deal damage equal to 982.8% of attack plus 2,477 to the target cooldown 15 seconds. While in the Anticipate State, when using any weapon skill, Unity will consume up to five Fighting Spirit. When it consumes one, two, three, four, five Fighting Spirit, deal additional damage to nearby targets equal to 169% yada 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 of attack and deal damage equal to 260 percent of attack plus 655 every second for five seconds after using any frost weapon skill gain two seconds of hyper body clashing of arms can only be used while in sweeping force and then this her discharge skill observe and react uh when weapon charge is full or fantasia is triggered switch to the weapon when weapon charge okay um it says Remove all debuffs from the Wanderer, dealing damage up to 1,173.1% of attack plus 2,956 to nearby targets and strongly launch them. During this period, gain damage immunity for 1.5 seconds, unavailable in Apex Leave. After Observe and React lands a hit, increase Frost damage by 12% for 30 seconds. After Observe and React lands a hit, enter the Anticipate state for 60 seconds. After using Unity to use a Discharge skill, receive 1,000 Weapon Charge. This effect can only be triggered one time every 10 seconds. Observe and react can only be used while in sweeping force. Let me read that to you again so you understand. After using Unity to use a discharge skill, receive 1,000 weapon charge. So when it comes to the weapon chips that I have on Unity, I'm gonna be going with the Echo chipset, and that says using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon grants 80 weapon charge. I mean, it might seem insignificant to the 1,000 of the Yulon skill, but this is still pretty huge, and this helps you to get more weapon charge faster, so you can keep hitting those discharge skills faster. Just seems to make sense to me. Now, if you know differently or you know better, you have a suggestion of what I should use or what other people should use as far as SSR chips or other SR chips, please let us know down in the comments in a polite way. And then my final weapon is this. It's gonna be Vesper Lyra, and simply because I really like this Vesper weapon, and incidentally, in the, in the chat when I was streaming, everyone was saying that this is probably one of the best support weapons in the game, and I think this weapon is just so cool because it looks unique. It's definitely my favorite weapon in the game to use. All right, so um, what I really like about this weapon is this. The skill called Shine Rise. Pummel the ground and strongly launch targets in front, dealing damage equal to 702.1% of attack plus 1,769 and summoning up to three blades for 75 seconds, up to one blade every two meters. This skill can be used up to three times with a cooldown of 20 seconds each time. When two blades exist on the field, a clear shine is created. When a blade is touched, it heals targets within the movement radius, restoring HP equal to 25% of the target's attack. When three blades exist, a nebula is created. When a blade is touched, it damages target within the movement radius, dealing damage equal to 150% of attack times movement distance five meters. Now, basically, this lets me use a skill like three times over because you get three charges of this so you can keep putting out those little totems and you know the healing is insane the damage on the inside of the totem is insane i just i really like this skill and you only get this when you have a benediction resonance active if i'm reading this correctly so looking over at her main skill vesper it says forgiveness guard um if you have a Benediction Resonance, which is what I have when I have Fiona and Vesper active at the same time, it says Benediction Guard. The skill, Forgiveness Guard, is replaced with Shine Rise, and the Wanderer earns no more Enlightenment Guard, which is converted to Forgiveness Guard for teammates. Earn one Forgiveness Guard for each 15% of max HP heal, and grant up to one Forgiveness Guard to every teammate. If every teammate has one, Forgiveness Guard deals physical damage equal to 60% of attack to an enemy and disappears. That damage does not trigger extra attack effects. Also, increase max HP by 10% for self and teammates. This effect cannot be stacked. And this is when you have the Benediction Resonance, which is what I do have. So that's why Vesper, that's why the Lyra her weapon skill changes when you have either a, a attack resonance resonance or a benediction resonance or fortitude resonance so in my opinion benediction is probably one of the best to use with lyra
And taking a look at the weapon chips that I have on my Lyra, it's just going to be this, the Pepper Chipset. I love the Pepper Chipset. It says increased speed of obtaining weapon charge by, for me, 12.5% because I have awakened at least one star on each of the uh, three chips that I have there. So what's cool about Lyra is that you can do the two three attacks and then hold and then she spams like these anime punches and that really builds up weapon charge although you don't have to do it for very long with the weapon charge obtaining speed and everything that's just going on with the character weapon charge comes up really fast but if you do need to gain that weapon charge really quickly you can switch to lyra switch to vesper hit the the anime punches and weapon charge comes up like almost instantly then just in case anybody was wondering what my stats are, what my character sheet looks like when I have all this equipped, my CS is at 45,475, and you can see my little character stats right there. Um, and then, if you want to know my world level right now, my current dimension level is 65. Current dimension level is 65. Probably could raise it a little bit higher, but I think 65 is comfortable for me. Uh, let me know what you would change it to with this character. All right, so I just joined a team doing a boss fight of Robarg, and I'm actually not afraid of this thing, so I'm going now to kill it. I hope this doesn't mess up anybody's plans, but this thing is gonna die. Just pay close attention to its health bar. Um, I'm just gonna try to spam skills as much as possible. Just keep an eye, look how many weapon charges that I'm gonna get, skill charges are going up there. Okay, knock me back. So we got a discharge skill ready already. I'm gonna use Mulan so I can get that 1,000 weapon discharge after using Observe and whatever. You instant discharge right there, just crazy amount of discharge points, and then hit another skill, all right? And then we'll go straight over here to this, and I've got another discharge up already. Let's hit Yuan again so I can get more weapon discharge, and then I'm gonna stay like this for a while, hit a skill. Okay, watch this now. It's gonna get executed, and it's gone. Just dead, just dead. That was me that did that. I executed it. It was just insane, the amount of execute potential that is. Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyone? 